All right, buddy, welcome back to another video. It's been about a year since you guys have seen my face. I sold all my camera gear thinking I'd never pick up a camera again and film another video, but I've been kind of missing it, so I picked up the phone. That's the only thing I have, just my phone on me. What we're doing today is we've got uh, two rods. One of them's got a bait holder. The other one's got a, um, what's that called? A circle hook on them. Trying to do an experiment, see which one works, which one works better. I've used a bait holder multiple times. Always my go-to is a bait holder. But I thought, you know, carp usually kind of set the hook themselves. But using corn as bait. Went to the market, got me some bubble tea, uh, some strawberries and a coconut for a snack. All right, so I've got two rods. One, two. Let's open some corn up. So here's what I've done. This is the circle hook. Baited the hook up all the way up to here and I've left the tip um, exposed. So if a fish bites it, we'll have like no problem getting hooked. You know, with these drinking coconuts, you can just, just pry it open with your teeth. Now it's not good for your teeth, but if you have like pretty solid teeth or good st grip strength, you can just peel it open like that. They're not that hard to do. Just cracking them open at the end, that's like the hard part. So you just use your teeth. Like that. Oh shit! Oh, we got a fish! No, he came off! No! No! I didn't think I was gonna get any bites today. Because it is winter and winter's not great for carp, but good sign, they're biting. It's not the best coconut, but it's not the worst. Might hit this on the rock to open the coconut. If there ever comes a time where I'm stuck in Fiji or Hawaii, going full survival mode on these coconuts. There we go, we got a fish. Okay, there we go. We got a fish. Finally got a carp. What I did differently was I casted pretty far with this one and look at the circle hook i've had two bites on the circle hook and both of them kind of got hooked well one got away but this one look at that just on the corner of its mouth i don't know maybe we're onto something now carp are invasive in victoria i mean in australia so most states we do have to kill these guys i'm in victoria so i do have to dispatch them but yeah they're pretty good Good carp. Pretty good day. We only caught the one fish, but we did have three or four takes on the circle hook while the normal bait holder didn't get any bites. I think why the circle hook worked better is because carp tend to um, spit the bait out and then they eat it again. And because circle hooks, the fish hook themselves, I guess it got caught in the fish's mouth.